Hey up. All you dirt bike scooter sketchy. I was gonna swear then, decided not to. Um, just a little video to let you know what we're up to at Steel Hawk. Uh, finally came to terms with the condensed calendar and what we could do this year and what we can't. So here we go. Let's just bring up that first and foremost. That's the website to go and enter uh, all of these events. Let's get them scrolling along the bottom. There you go. So this is what we're settled on, people. Positive uh, vibes about the year ahead. Obviously, COVID is just, I don't even want to keep mentioning the word. Anyway, um, we've finally worked out where everything sits. The calendar's kind of close to completion with all the nationals and whatnot. So this is what we're doing. Um, so take a look what's going on at the bottom. So we are going to be starting out with our inaugural Helter Skelter Hill Climb. If you haven't seen it, I'll play a video at the end of this one and you can see what it's all about. Basically, uh, the concept is five of you race up a hill, but when you get to the top, you turn and come down, zigzagging downhill, probably trying to T-bone each other, take each other out of the equation, all in good faith, of course, um, with a race to the bottom, then launch over the finish line. It's um, never been done before. How it's going to work out, who knows? That's going to be part of the fun of it. Um, it's going to be held at Buckland Newton near Dorchester on Saturday, 12th of June, as I mentioned. Um, so basically, if you want to enter that, all entries to our events are on the website below um, there. Just get on that. Go to the top bar. You'll see our events. Click on that. All the events will scroll down. Just click on the one you want to enter and get involved. So that's what we're doing with that. We've got varying classes. I've written it all down because there's so much to remember. We've got the run what you run class, which is basically um, road bikes, contraptions, any kind of description, really. Um, anything that's not really an off road bike to a degree. Um, then we've got the 450 class, the 250 class, all these classes after uh, capacity up to. So no more than 450, no more than 250 for the class. The 125 class, we've got 85 cc class all in big wheel small wheel then the classes that i think is going to be utter mayhem we've got the mini bike class up to 160 cc and then the moped class i'm still trying to source a moped uh, to do it myself i haven't done one yet but basically mopeds up to a 90 cc engine and they've got to be sort of road worthy road legal mopeds okay so that's the health scale to hill climb then moving into august we are starting our inaugural airborne gunner summer supercross with the aim to turn it into a series for 2022 this year though we're just doing a one-off it will run the day before our rocket till sundown event at cuss's gorse so effectively making it a two-day event which we're pretty pumped about we're gonna have um music either a dj set live music stuff going on after the supercross so the airborne gunner is as you can see scrolling along the bottom see it there there we go going that way um that's all our events and the Airborne Gunner is on Tuesday, the 3rd of August. So again, mirroring Rocket Till Sundown, we've got classes from Auto all the way up to Adult Expert, Clubman, Expert, Rookie classes. Again, get on the website. I won't bore you to tears talking about it, but we're aiming to turn the Supercross coupled with Rocket Till Sundown that will run the next day and is well established as the mo our annual motocross event. Um, back to back, and as I said, with the aim of very much turning it into a, a longer festival than that going forward, and basically turn it into the biggest nothing event of the year, which it kind of got branded last year by some people, which was great. Um, so I'm going to run with it. It's the biggest nothing event of the year. Um, get involved with that. Get involved with Rocket, where the kids can win so many cool prizes. We've got stolen BMX involved again. So every winner of the youth classes will win a BMX from stolen bikes. We've got Loads of other brands coming back on. Just starting to firm them up now. A couple we already have got firmed up, same as last year. Um, Alpine Star will sponsor the auto class. We've got Troy Lee Designs doing the 65 class again and, and again doing helmets for the winners. Um, the 85 classes and all the adult classes, we'll be rolling out um, class sponsors for that over the next month. So keep an eye on our website for that. It's really coming together, as is Airborne Gunner Supercross. So we've got some big announcements coming up for that. There'll be a pro invitational with some real top riders. Uh, riders already confirmed to me, at least. Um, we've got Dylan Woodcock riding it, the Bayless brothers, the Clayton brothers, Jack Brunel, Adam Chatfield, Jordan Booker, Ash Greedy, all under the floodlights on Tuesday, 
the 3rd of August. And then we can party on. Not too much because uh, we've got a big day with Rocket till sundown the following day. So that's our plans for this year. Now, we did mention earlier on in the year or in lockdown that we wanted to run our Hammer and Tongs team trophy uh, just because uh, the calendar is so rammed. We've all seen the issues with date clashes, trying to fit it all in uh, a year crammed into six months or whatever it is. So we've taken the executive decision not to run that until 2022. We don't think it's fair to do so. Um, there's already enough pressure on the calendar and we want everybody to come along and be able to make that and enjoy it. So Hammer and Tong team event, team trophy will run in 2022. Now, if you miss what we said, that was the concept of it. Basically, it's a team event, um, but like the Motocross of Nations, most team events in the UK, you ride for your club, you represent your club. Well, at this event, you don't. You get to choose a team of four of you, whoever you want, from classes, from auto up to adults. We've put all the rules and regulations out, obviously, nearer the time. But you basically choose a four rider team. You can call yourselves whatever you want, bizarre names, as long as the language is clean. Uh, and then, of course, that gives you the concept of maybe designing your own graphics, your own colorways, your own team name, maybe even going as far as getting helmet spray. Uh, and then we'll have an overall team winner and class winners as well. So that's going to happen in 2022. This year in the winter, um, I can say that we are at this minute getting much closer. I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen, but we're getting much closer to rolling out our speed cross events as well. Now, if you miss what we said they were, they are actually going to be running in the autumn or winter at speedway venues. I haven't confirmed which ones yet, but we're speaking to a lot of speedway venues. And uh, basically the concept is motocross bikes on a speedway track. You go off the start for behind the tapes, just like a speedway rider, tearing around the first corner. And then as you go down the back straight, you turn into the infield where we'll put on a load of like rollers, ski jumps, tight corners, obstacles in the infield. And then you turn back onto the back straight and rattle around again for a four lap sprint day race, just like Speedway. So that's our concept with that. We're really hoping, really hoping um, that we can get that done this year and pull that off. If not, that will get pushed back to 2022. Um, but obviously we're working hard to try and make that happen for us. It makes logical sense to do it because obviously come the autumn, the light goes, motocross races are hard to lay on. But with this, we can run into the evening under the floodlights of a speedway stadium. So um, let's hope we can pull it off. Anybody got any ideas or want to help us on that? Just contact us um, through our Facebook page or info at steelhawkmc.cc and we'll pick up the emails. So we're working really hard. And then finally, we was going to do our farm boy bash uh, mini bike supercross down at Wilden Farm um, this January. But COVID put pay to that. So we are put that we've put that into place. Basically, I'll get my words out in a minute. Put it into place to run that into January next year. Maybe, maybe even this year, this side of Christmas. But the one of the events that we are definitely confirmed to do are scrolling across the page below. You can see them. The hill climb. Airborne Gunner Supercross, okay, and then Rocket Till Sundown. They are the three big events that we are categorically laying on this year, unless COVID and Indian variants and whatever. You know, I wouldn't say it's definitely going to happen because the world is still in a little bit of a strange place, but we certainly plan to go for it this year with these events. If we can add the Speed Cross, great, we're going to do that. Our Hammer and Tong team event is definitely being pushed back to 2022 because we just don't want to basically condense an already over condensed calendar. So that's us. That's us at Steelhawk. That's what we're doing. I'm going to play a couple of videos now from uh, uh, basically the hill climb, just to give you an idea what that's about. And also from our last year, Rocket Till Sundown edit. So you can kick back and watch them. More information, just go on the website. Oh, I always do that wrong. There it is, steelhawkmc.cc. And get involved, people. Loads of prizes to be announced for Rocket. Loads of info coming out about our airborne gunner supercross. Really looking forward to that. And um, hopefully we're, again, continue to lay on some good events, fun, laid back, one-off events, no championship pressure, and everybody can have a good time. So up until this point, thank you so much, all of you, for all your support. 
in helping us get this far. We're into our fourth year now and growing all the time. So we really appreciate it. And um, let's do this. Let's try and make off-road motorcycling in the UK a better, fun place to be. Right, that's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get off of here and play some videos. Thanks, everybody, and uh, we'll be seeing you soon. Take care. Right, here we are, Buckland Newton in Dorset, trying out our Helter Skelter Hill Climb, which is going to go off on Saturday, June the 12th, sponsored by Buckland Newton Hire. Just done a little course trial, and we're going to do some more. So we've got Ross Sturmey and Harrison Greenoff testing it out. Get going, guys! Motorcycle Club, and this is Rocket Till Sundown 2020. So what went down for the third running of the annual event at the fantastic Cusses Gorse venue? Let's kick off with the little whipple snappers. In the Alpine Star Auto Class, with a top three are all going to win 2021 Alpine Star kit, it was Riley Ray Barrow taking the race win with a clean sweep. Second went to number 50, Tommy Perfect, following in home. And in third was number 187, William Dennis. In the Troy Lee Design 65 class, it was completely stacked out with talent from top to bottom. Again, the top three receiving amazing prizes. This time, they're all going to receive a sprayed up crash helmet courtesy of Troy Lee Designs. Yes, you heard me. A sprayed up crash helmet from Troy Lee Designs and the guys at Image Design Customs. Unbelievable prize. Taking the overall win in that one was another Judd KTM rider. It was Robbie Daly, number 800, clean sweep in the class. Second went to Stanley Siebert, number 512, with a 353 scorecard. And then in third position, number 144, again on the KTM, it was Archie Edwards. In the Fly Small Wheel class, once again, amazing prizes. The guys at Fly offering up a free set of kit for the top three. And those riders were led home, 111 scorecard, number 30 on the GRT whole shot KTM, Charlie Richmond. Second went to number 79, Joshua Avell with a 222 scorecard. And then in third, number 104, bringing it home, was Reese Jones. In the Oakley Big Wheel class, the racing was intense as these guys start to get a little bit manly throwing these 85s around. The racing was so good to watch. But in the end, it was Tyler Hooley, bring it home, number 101 with a second and two firsts ahead of James Barker on the SJP Moto Husqvarna. And then in third on the Judd Racing Orange Brigade machine was number 555 Mackenzie Marshall. A big shout out to Stolen Bike Company, one of our major sponsors who once again stepped up to the plate to offer a brand new BMX to the Auto 65 and 85cc class winners. In the FXR Rookie 125 class, there was always only going to be one winner after practice and qualifying and the 2021 FXR race kit and a pro circuit exhaust pipe goes to the Acer United Husqvarna rider Bobby Bruce who dominated the whole day. Second was number 19 Joe Brooks riding for the Dios Cab Screens team on his Husqvarna and third in the 125 FXR rookie class was Harvey Cashmore, number 10, going 4-3-4. Four, four. 
in the FXR Rookie 250 class. It was the Cornishman, Louis Kessel, clean sweeping the event, taking home not only a set of 2021 FXR race kit, but also a brand new set of Talon wheels. In second was Team Green Kawasaki's Cullen Scott, and in third on the Honda, number 202, Ty Westcott. They may be old boys, and they should know better, but the Vets class, some of the racing was outstanding. In the ODI Vets MX2 class, where the winners receive vouchers, courtesy of Madison to spend on ODI products, it was Paul Williams going 1-1 in the MX2 class, ahead of Glenn Bixby, number 13. He brought it home with two seconds. And in third, not quite making it into the fastest 40, but still third in the MX2 Vets class was Sam Jones, number 178. In the Matrix Vets MX1 class, it was defending champion Chris Brown going home with a shed load of Matrix products for taking the win, ahead of Steve Marlowe, number 5, coming in second. Both those guys racing in the fastest 40, along with Chris Petey, who brought it home, number 716, in third. The MGS Off-Road MX2 class was always going to be a Bobby Dazzler, and that's exactly how it turned out, with some unbelievable racing from the young guns moving up to the pro class. But in the end, it was the Rob Hooper racing Yamaha rider, Taylor Hamill, going 1-1 and taking the overall win in the MX2 class, but he had to work hard to fend off. Chambers Husqvarna rider Tom Grimshaw coming in with two seconds, and then in third with a 4-3 scorecard on the JC184 Husqvarna, it was Jamie Carpenter. In the AC United Husqvarna MX1 class, it was defending champion on his cab screens DS Honda. Harry Kulas going 1-1 to romp to another victory in MX1, ahead of local rider Liam Knight on his Gabriel KTM going 4-2. And in third, on his Apico Husqvarna, coming all the way over from Ireland to race was Stewie Edmonds. With the dark clouds looming, we headed into the Relax to Race Arm Pump CBD Oil Super Final. And all eyes were looking to see if Taylor Hamill could get out there and mix it up with Kulas. But it wasn't to be. Hamill going down on the first corner. And in the end, it was Kulas that dominated the Super Final to take the overall victory and the Rocket Till Sundown Perpetual Guitar Trophy. Second went to Jack Brunel on the ASAT United Husqvarna showing his supercross skills on a slick, jumpy circuit. And third, being made up with coming over and riding, it was the Apico Husqvarna racer Stu Edmonds. And that, folks, was the 2020 Rocket Till Sundown. We're going to be back in 2021, but before we get there, we just got to give a huge shout out to all our amazing sponsors that got behind us this year under difficult times. Thanks for the support, you all, and we'll see you this time next year. Stay safe, everyone. We're out of here.